Are you considering a purchase of a pop-up camper? If so, watch this video because we're talking about five reasons to avoid pop-up campers, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. Like I said, it's all about pop-up campers and reasons to avoid them. But remember, every RV has reasons to avoid and reasons to purchase. Take our opinion with a grain of salt. We have been RVing full-time for five years and we've worked directly with many manufacturers and toured hundreds of RVs. So we have a very good idea of what works, whether you're taking an extended vacation, a weekend trip, or full-time RVing. And there are reasons to avoid pop-up campers. Reason number one is climate control and exposure to the outside. So obviously the way the pop-up camper works is that whenever it's in travel mode it's condensed whenever you set up camp you pop it up and usually canvas sides are what is exposed and keeps you protected from the elements the problem is these canvas sides don't have any insulation properties and uh, they are susceptible to leaks so this doesn't really matter if you're taking the pop-up camper out maybe five times a year, maybe three times a year. But the more wear and tear that pop-up camper gets, the more these seams are gonna wear out and leaks are gonna be susceptible to happening. And obviously the temperature control is an issue, but you can have a lot of control over that depending on where you travel or what time of year you're traveling. So those are two things you're gonna really have to keep in mind whenever you get a pop-up camper. If you're traveling to hot places or extremely cold places, good reason not to get a pop-up camper. Reason number two is that there is not a lot of room for storage. The whole idea of a pop-up camper is that it breaks down in stores minimally. You can usually park them in a garage or a small storage unit, and that's the beauty of a pop-up camper. But with that concept, they're not making a lot of room for you to store your stuff. And I understand maybe if you're going out for a weekend, you won't need a lot of things. But something like a propane fire pit, an extra set of tools that you can bring in case you have an issue on the road, those are gonna eat up potentially all of the storage space very quickly. So the things like an outdoor grill or maybe a um, cornhole set, you're starting to look at not enough room to bring these things. So everything adds up so quickly with a pop-up camper and keep that in mind and think about what type of trips you're going to be taking and how you're going to be using that pop-up camper because if you need even just a little extra storage, it might not be the option for you. Number three is that many pop-up campers lack a bathroom. Uh, again, this kind of makes sense because the idea of it collapsing and breaking up and down doesn't really offer much room for a bathroom or much less a wall between the bathroom and the living space. So a lot of pop-up campers just nix the bathroom all together and say, just use another bathroom at a campground, which might be a fine solution. But one of the beauties of traveling with an RV is that you can travel with your own bathroom. I love pulling off at a truck stop, at a rest stop, and knowing that I'm still gonna be using my own bathroom and not some nasty public bathroom. If that's an issue that you are concerned with too, maybe a small travel trailer is better than a pop-up camper because you won't sacrifice having your own clean bathroom that the rest of the world isn't using. Number four is there is little to no sound insulation. And to me, this goes back to the canvas walls that don't offer very much weather protection. They don't offer much sound insulation and scarier still to me is that they don't offer much protection from bears. I know that doesn't have to do with sound, but uh, the canvas walls, I just keep coming back to these things and thinking that you're gonna be able to hear everything that's happening outside. A bear could easily paw its way through and those leaks. So that canvas wall is gonna be a big detractor for me in the idea of getting a pop-up camper, something you should probably consider too. And number five is that pop-up campers have very little interior space and very little separation of that interior space. If you're traveling as a family, 
four people are going to fill that thing up very quickly. The great part is that sometimes the sides drop down, the front and rear end drop down to the beds. So you at least have two separate beds on two separate sides with a kitchen in the middle, maybe a small dinette. But other than that, be prepared to spend your time outside. That's what a pop-up camper is for. It's so it keeps you close to nature. So if you love the outdoors and being close to nature, pop-up camper might be for you. Now, those five reasons are great to consider if you're gonna wanna purchase a pop-up camper. But we understand that every RV type has pros and cons, and you can use our opinion to help you formulate if a RV will be good or bad for you, but don't take it as the end all be all. Hopefully it's helped you out and you can take something from this video. Let us know what you think about pop-up campers. We'd love to hear your insight. We'll see you next time, later on.